All right, hey, what's up guys? I'm just gonna show you how to add your plugin into the plugin database in case you're getting an error, okay? So uh, I have released a couple videos on this plugin database if you wanna learn how to like, get it all organized. As you can see, I do my effects. Uh, but the example I wanna give you here is in the delay folder, okay? So there's different types of delays in music production. Like we have our typical delay that it says like, hello, 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 right? But then there's effects like chorus and flanger and phaser. It's still a delay plugin, but it's not that hello, 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 which would be like, a you know, the fruity delay two or fruity delay three. So here's what happens if you have a folder within a folder. So chorus is a folder, flanger is a folder, phaser is a folder. And I'll show you that within your actual structure here. Okay, so FL Studio stores our user data folder in the documents folder. So go to image line, FL Studio, presets, plugin database. Now, if we click into effects, you can see effects, my effects, delay. All right, so here are folders within a folder. So these folders are within the delay folder. What is happening is if you go to the delay folder, let's say I just wanna add a uh, this compressor into delay, we go add to plugin database and a little error kind of little pops up. So please first select or open the plugin uh, database ca sub category folders. Okay. So if you are going to be creating folders within folders, my suggestion to you is if you want to add a bunch of delays, well, then you can just click into like, let's say chorus, you would come here, you would add it. So now it added this compressor to the chorus folder, which is what you don't want, but that's okay because it's really easy just to come into the folder structure here. And if we go into chorus, you can see now we have Pro C2. So all you'd have to do is just drag this where you want it to go and it would automatically update. So watch it, even if I drag it uh, just back a folder, so it's going to be into the main delay folder right here. You, saw, you see it's right there now. All right, so uh, the final thing I will say is, yeah, you just wanna make sure your PNG file is hidden and everything will look nice and clean. Uh, now you can create like a folder within a folder. For example, if you want delay and you actually want a delay folder, so we could do that. So here's chorus, flanger, phaser, using the sh uh, keyboard shortcut, control, shift, and N. Okay, and we'll just go like delay. And let's just say, and you can see everything auto updates right here. And so I'm just going to drag them into, into delay. And so uh, you could do this, but I think it's a little bit annoying because you go like delay and then delay. And there's your, your actual delays as we know them. Uh, but there's your other effects. But I like it. So if I hit delay, I have my plugins right away. Um, but so what I'm saying is like, let's say you had delay and you want to add plugins into the delay folder. You can create your own subfolder and you could do it like that. Um, add to plugin database. So you can see that now, you know, delay has its own, but I personally like to have it more like this. So again, I'm just going to delete that pro C2, which I'll open it up. You'll see it removes. And again, I don't like to right click and delete uh, because FL Studio still uh, leaves a couple files behind. So I just come into here, uh, highlight and delete, and it automatically updates, right? So super awesome. So all these delays, I'm just going to press control and A. We are going to drag them out and I will delete the delay folder. And you can see that this is the layout. So when I open up delay, I have my delay plugins and then, you know, chorus, flanger, whatever. Uh, now, if you want to add your plugins into the plugin database, just make sure you go into like a subcategory. You can add it and then just quickly come to here and you can drag them around. And as a pro tip, if you want to quickly go to your plugin database without going to your documents and stuff, you can just right click and go open. All right. And it'll open up the window for you and you can easily update it as you go. All right. So if you guys ever have questions, you guys feel free to reach me at itsgratuitous.com. I have an FL Studio beginners course, an FL Studio beginners book, as well as a membership to watch all of my FL Studio courses. And I hope this allows you guys to get nice and organized. Uh, I have many other articles about the plugin database on my website and how I set it up in terms of my generators and my effects. All right. I'll talk to you in the next video.